Hello everyone, it's Clover um, coming to you in red today. Um, I have a very special video. It's not really that special, but I wanted uh, to do an unboxing because I got some really cool things lately that I want to show off. So let's just get started because I'm excited and I want to show what I have. So it's not technically an unboxing because I already took all this stuff out of the boxes because I struggle with boxes and nobody wants to watch me struggle with them. So they're all still in bags though. The first thing I have is not technically Lolita. It's more like Fairy K general pastel fashion kind of thing. Depends on how you style it. But um, I got two collars from an indie brand called Miss Alphabet. This first one is My Little Pony themed. Oh, I should probably explain, um, Miss Alphabet does a lot of like upcycling. So it's likely that both of these were made out of like old bedspreads. So yeah, when I saw this, I knew I had to get it because I love old My Little Pony so much, and the back has one of my favorites, which is Sunny Days. I love her. I have the uh, figurine for her. Who else do I have? Ooh, I have this one too. I forget her name. What is her name? I have her, and I have Pinkie Pie, of course, and I have, is she on the front? No, but she is on the back. Rainbow Dash. Um, oh, I think I have all of these actually because I have this one with the lavender on her too. Huh. So whenever I wear this collar, I'll be reminded of my Gen 3 My Little Pony collection. That's awesome. I didn't even notice that before. I just like saw My Little Pony and I, I impulse bought it. Um, but that's awesome. I'll have to show you guys my My Little Pony collection at some point because I love it. Anyway, the next one is a little more versatile. It's just a bunch of cute pastel hearts. So I can pair this with a lot of different things. But yeah, um, I just wanted to get these because I have a lot of t-shirts, um, but I feel like they're a little too casual for like a full fairy K cord, so I wanted something to, you know, spice it up a little. So I can just wear a t-shirt, throw the collar on top, call it good. And I also have a little note in here. Yay! And stickers! Nice! Awesome! So yeah, that's Miss Alphabet. You can find them on Etsy and on Instagram. So yay for that. Let's get this plastic out of here. Okay, the next thing is also technically not Lolita. Don't worry, we'll get to the Lolita. I know you all want to see the angelic pretty, but this is Coco Kim, which I think is not open anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I thought I heard that they had shut down. But anyway, I've been needing more cardigans to wear with my Lolita. So I saw this with the tag still on and I decided to go for it because um, this came up on Lace Market and it was new with tags, so yay. There's just a little embroidered heart there that says Coco Kim. It's very cute. It's really soft too. And it looks like it'll fit me because I don't know. I feel like the shoulders look pretty wide. We'll see. Um, but if not, like I always wear my cardigans if they're too small with just the top button buttoned and then I let them like flare out or whatever, but yeah, looks cute. 
It's a nice shade of purple too, so I feel like I can cord it with a lot of different things. Of course, now the weather is getting warmer, so. Oh, I lied. It is kind of Lolita because the embroidery that says Coco Cam says Lolita right at the top, if you can see that. <laughs> so, I lied. It is Lolita. Haha. -ha. I mean, it was on Lace Market, so I guess whatever. Anyways, on to the Angelic Pretty. Yay! But yeah, I just find it ironic that I bought a cardigan when the weather is starting to get warmer. Not today, though. Today's really cooled down a lot. My cat can play with that. <laughs> So, this is a Dreamy Parfait JSK. Try saying that five times fast. Oh, it also still has the tag on it. I didn't realize that. Let me get my life together here. There's a lot of fabric to work with. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Um, just a disclaimer, this is my first, like, true mint dress because I don't consider the Bodyline Squirrel Party or Bodyline Balloon Bear OPs to be mint. They're more of, like, a spring green. This is mint mint. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm also excited because the print features a bunch of fruit which I have a lot of accessories to go with. I'm wearing one right now. Um, and I also have a lot of lemon accessories that I can cord with this. And of course, it also has ribbons, which if you've watched my wardrobe video, you know I love prints with ribbons. And I have a lot of like ribbon accessories that I can cord with it. Also, it has ribbons down the front, which are a little bit crinkled. But that's to be expected considering, you know, it was in the mail. Um, I could probably smooth those out a little bit by like putting some books on them to weigh them down or something like that. But overall it looks pretty good. I like how um, on the space that separates the bodice from the skirt there's like this little silver roping. That's really interesting. Um, it's got this cute ribbon on the top that is like a gingham. It's got the angelic pretty tag. It's got adjustable uh, shoulder straps. It's got shirring and corset lacing in the back. The waist ties, of course, which are detachable. And yeah, it's just really pretty. Let's look at the lace on the bottom. Ooh, the lace on the bottom is like, it's got this gingham ruffle, and then the actual lace is heart-shaped cherries with ribbons on top of the stems, and also like little hearts that say angelic pretty. So yeah, that's cool. Now the print says love heart parfait but I'm pretty sure it's called Dreamy Parfait. I don't know what's up with that. It's a bit weird. Let me, let me show you. Oh, well this, this one says Pink Princess Parfait. So, I don't know. I don't know what is up with that, but anyway, and then up here, it says Angelic Pretty. Oh, that's cute. The spoon has like a little heart-shaped jelly thing. There's so much detail that you can't see when you're like looking at the online listing. Like look at this heart curly straw. That's so cute. Not a huge fan of pink grapefruit, but it is what it is. <laughs> I don't have to eat it when it's in the print. Let's let's just say that. So yeah, looks really good. And also it's got 
like a double layer. The top layer is sort of this see-through gingham. Um, I don't think it's chiffon. Um, it's probably like a polyester um, kind of material. Oh, there's something on the inside. What's that? Oh, it's a pocket. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Is that a ribbon? No, it's a pocket. Oh, come on hand, get in there. Yay, pockets. That's awesome. So yeah, that's the top layer and then the inside layer is just the lining. But the material feels really light, like it'll be good for summertime, so. That's exciting. Very excited to have my first mint dress. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Can't wait to cord this with all my fruit accessories. And you know what? There's a little bit of purple in here, right there. Let's, let's test this. Oh, the shades don't match exactly. That's disappointing. I mean, I could probably still get away with it, but I'm really picky about my color matching, so I'll think about it. Anyways. Let's put this aside and move on to the final item of our unboxing. Eww. This one's in like a legit bag. I'm definitely going to save this for future use. Might be handy for when I'm going on a trip or something. I'm so, so elated right now with this dress, and I haven't even unfurled it yet. Ooh. Oh, this, this person definitely owns a pet. I, I see some, some pet hair on it, but that's fine. I'm not allergic or anything. Oh my god, the buttons. I'm keeping you all in suspense on purpose. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I've made you wait long enough. Let's see it. Ta-da! It's Angelic Pretty's Wonder Party. Oh my gosh, there's pet hair all over the back. At least it's only on the back, I think. I don't see any on the front. Oh, there's a little bit, but that's okay. I plan to wash this anyway. I always wash anything that I get um, secondhand because you just never know. So anyway, here's the old angelic pretty tag back when they had the crown and stuff. And it's got this cute like spoon and sequin, or not sequin. What do they call it? I can only think of the word bedazzling right now, but I don't think that's right. But look at the look at the lacing. It's card suits. It's card suits. Oh my gosh! And this is in such good condition too. Like it comes with this detachable, I swear I'm gonna butcher the name. I think it's Jabot or something. Ugh, I'm so sorry <laughs> if I got that wrong, I'm so sorry. But also the buttons. I'd probably wear it without this so I can show off the cute buttons. It has cute buttons here as well for the detachable sleeves. And the print is just like a bunch of cookies that look like playing cards, and it says AP, and there's one that says eat me, and there's a cupcake. It's just so pretty. There's card suits going down the stripes that are gold. Oh my gosh. And then at the bottom, it's gonna be hard to show, but there's a bunch of 
wig hair. <laughs> There's a bunch of teacups and cookies and just wonderful things. There's a fork. A fork right there. And the lace at the bottom. My god, this dress is super heavy too. <laughs> <laughs> my arm's getting tired holding it up. Oh my god, I'm so weak. But anyway, the lace is also little teacups and hearts and all kinds of beautiful things. It's so wonderful. Oh, oh, this, this is pretty. Oh, it's a teapot. Okay, I have to show this too. Uh, trying to get a good angle here. Come on, there's so much fabric, oh my god. It's a teapot! Oh my goodness. Now, it doesn't have shirring, it does have a zipper, so I'm really hoping it'll fit me. We'll see. But now I'm going to get some shots of me holding these dresses up from like a distance so that you can see it from far away. So here is Dreamy Parfait. Looking real cute. It's got such a nice print. Yes. And then here is Wonder Party. Ah, obviously I love it because it's Alice in Wonderland themed, sort of. I mean, it's technically more like tea time themed and cookie themed, but you know, whatever. It's called frickin' Wonder Party. It's gotta be Alice in Wonderland themed. Yes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm not going to get shots of me trying them on today, um, mostly because I would like to wash them before putting them on my body. Um, I did notice a little bit of staining around the um, inner side of the neckline of Wonder Party, which, you know, it's an old piece, so you do expect a little bit of that kind of thing, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. But also because it's kind of a cloudy, rainy day, so the lighting's not the best to show off these dresses anyway, but I wanted to do the unboxing because I couldn't wait any longer and I wanted to open them. So they're gonna go right in the wash and um, You'll probably see me wearing them in a future video, so look out for that. And until then, see you guys in the next video.